Hey guys, what's up? CT out in the garage with Rusty, and I have a special guest, Mike F. here from yeah. Mike F. Channel. What's up, right Mike? from Riverside, California, what's man. What's going on, man? Yeah, checking it out. <laughs> Wanted to see this this uh, hunk of well, whatever. I mean, it's really cool, uh, and in person, I, you guys that are watching the video on this, you know, in person, this bus is way at the dynamics of it is way more than what you can actually see in the video. So we were talking about a couple things that by uh, CT, uh, we were talking about the roof on this thing. And let's take oh, a look yeah. at it. I'm going to show you guys this in Florida right here with the rain that you get. You get like Florida, if you guys are not from here or don't travel through here much, you might find out that the uh, the rain in this in this area actually comes and goes. And, and you never know when it's going to come. And you can see all the motorcycles all parked on the bridge. And I was thinking, well, we want to see what you guys think. Do you think that he should do a roof clip on this? And we were thinking, well, we're just kicking it around. There's just some ideas. Should he do a roof clip on this and then like try and paint match it to the rust? Um, and, or we were saying maybe paint it like the gray, like the interior, if you see in here. Um, and then patina it, you know, after it's done. So paint it, I was telling them you could paint it a lighter color underneath and then put a real, real light coat of the color that matches here and then take, what you do is you take mineral spirits with a rag and you wipe it off until some of that's coming through. And then it starts to look like old paint gone through and then you could paint it with some flat clear and then throw rust chips into it and it would look more like it matches what's here. Yeah, I don't that'd know. be pretty cool. Yeah, that's just something we were kicking around. And then we were talking about some of the other things. Uh, what were you thinking? What were you talking about? Well, I mean, basically, I'm going to get all the mechanicals done so that it drives and runs as best as possible. And uh, we're going to replace the floor. We're going to do the seat pedestals and the dog legs. So it'll have a, this whole front end will be new, except for the. Uh, for the face, wow! Um, but you know everything else. You I really think did this. This looks a lot better now since you put that. Um, the rust converter. Yeah, the rust converter on there. It just looks like it's not going to die. Yeah, I mean, I was actually surprised. I, I'd never used it before, so yeah. I thought it turned out pretty good. That's a similar product to what I was telling you online. The, uh, which one did you get? It was. It's hidden over here somewhere. You're looking at it. Yeah, this is the, I use the one for ad coat. It's like the same thing. Yeah. Is, is it thick or is it? Yeah, thin? it's pretty thick. Yeah, it's the same type of thing. Yep, it works and, good. And uh, you, you brush that on it. You should put some kind of finish on it. I don't know, <clears throat> you know. It has a primer on it, but it doesn't really have a complete finish. But even just like that, it's going to be so much. It'll save this thing from just crumbling to the ground. Yeah, because the other option was, you know, try to sandblast everything, but I'm just not to that point yet where I want to sandblast. So this was kind of an easy, look at this, I, an I, easy I, out. I love this. He doesn't want to touch it until, until it's, you know, time to actually do it because he just loves the peeling, and I love it too, dude. Check this out. This is just awesome. That peeling, and then the radio with the broken. If you guys ever watch his channel, anybody. On my channel, who's not watching CT, you guys want to check it out. Uh, this has got a, this is a really cool build. Back up and watch a bunch of those videos on this. Um, there's a reason why there's millions of views on it. It's it's actually pretty intriguing. So, yeah, it's got some character for sure. Yeah, yeah he's and he wants to change these. You know, of course, the seat stands because you know uh, you want to keep it as original as possible. But he wants to change those because he wants to be able to sit there and not fall through the floor. I mean, it makes sense, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they were pretty. On. They were pretty toasty. Yeah, that's that's yeah. fun. I mean, that yeah, it was that was fun watching you guys cut that out. You did a good job. It looked really good. Yeah. So the plan now is to get the brakes, get the bearings, and the wheels all the, get everything back to factory. And are you uh, thinking about putting disc brakes on it at all? Or no, I'm just going to go stock for now. I've already got okay. all the. Oh, you got, got it all already. Yeah, I've already got the wheel cylinders. I would recommend cylinders. doing the disc brakes, but you know, since you've already got it. Yeah. Just start there, and then you can always upgrade from there. Yeah, I think later found on. This thing. Yeah, I know. He found this. He got this online, brand new. They do sell these in Europe, and, and one of my friends, it's a parts guy, didn't even know these were available. So, 
Uh, he might be. We were talking about him doing a video on where he got each one of his parts. Uh, so you want to stay tuned to his channel and check that out. Because if you're one of the guys who's building one of these and you didn't know where to get something, maybe that'll help you. So yeah, yeah um, we were talking another thing, and I think we kind of wanted to include this in the video here that we were talking about. And I was telling him about um, the gear ratios in the 61 to 63 buses. And one of the problems in those years, if they, let's, let's back up for a second. Before this, they had a split case training. And the split case tranny had uh, a 0.794. So that's not a one to one, it's a 0.79 to one gear ratio in there. And it had the same gear reduction boxes that are on this. So the gear reductions, the, the, the gear ratios on the 60 and earlier buses weren't that bad. Even though they only had a 36 horsepower motor, they weren't that bad. But when they changed to this transmission, they actually, uh, had a really odd gear ratios and so that's where you see a lot of the 61 to 63 buses with cut out wheel, wheel wells because they were trying to get big tires under them so they could you know drive them on the highway or whatever and my suggestion to him was was to uh, go with the big nut axles since he wants to keep a 40 horse in here the original engine uh, go with the big nut axles and uh, leave the 0.82 fourth gear that gives you a nice uh, the ability to drive it on the freeway and you still have a low enough gear so that the uh, transmission will it'll, you know it'll work well with the 40 horse but you, the one thing you need to do also is you need to upgrade the pistons and cylinders to the big board kit which is the uh, uh, 1384 kit uh, AA makes those um, and uh, if you guys are looking for them they make them they have them online uh, Carcraft also has them as well. So, but yeah, they slip on the 40 horse, and then I always put to take these off. These are the original uh, 40 horse uh, rockers, and we put on the 1600, which gives you a 1.18, 125 to 1 ratio on the rockers, which gives you a little more lift on your cam and makes gives you that torque you need to pull the pull the bus around. So, but everything looks original. You don't, you don't do anything to make it, you know, compromise that. So, those are kind of, kind of things I was, you know, suggesting to him. And I was trying to suggest it online uh, in comments, but it just, it's much easier when we're here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's kind of fun. We came out, you know, to, to check it out. You know, I've been working out here in Florida, so I thought, man, you know, I'm going to definitely come by and meet up some of the tubers who are doing some cool stuff. Yep. And uh, help them get their projects done. So, uh, you want to help me try to get this uh, swing plate off? Oh, the spring plate. The spring the plate, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Not the swing Let's plate. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> Let's take a look at that spring plate in the back. <laughs> You've got to take this one off. Let's take a look at it, guys. Back here, we've got a spring plate on this one. It is a little bent. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't know how that happened. Would they use a forklift to move this thing? Or? Probably. Yeah. They're probably moving around the junkyard and... Yeah. It, it, you got it? I remember, I saw the video when you got this. It was at a junkyard. Was it a junkyard it was in or...? Uh, the guy that I bought it from found it in a junkyard up in Georgia. Wow. And he brought it down here wow. to his car lot and I bought it from him. I found it on Craigslist. Man. Yeah. Yeah, there was a there was a funny thing in the story on this thing. There was another guy, another YouTuber, uh, who we both watch, who was also bidding on the same thing. And uh, he was trying to buy it, and then after he saw it, he kind of goes, "I don't know. I wish I would. I'm glad I didn't buy that." Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> but in some ways, he wishes he did. So it's kind of it's because of the rust, you know. It's it's really bad. I mean, it's pretty the back bad. Of this is bad. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's bad. This is going to be difficult to replace. But it's all it's actually in the back. Yep. You know, so I mean, there's your typical battery trade. It's all rotted out. This is the part that I was looking at that looks. Like. Yeah, this part, uh, it's fairly solid actually. I mean, and where do they they make these somewhere? I've, I saw these. Uh, Wolfsburg has them. Now, yeah, Wolfsburg has these. I actually picked yeah. up a couple already. You got to so. get those. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that. Yeah. What's cool is this side. Oh, it has that too. This side's in pretty good no, condition. You know, not all of them have this little thing. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I, it's I, almost I'm like a little sure compartment story. for holding stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the story behind that. But I, 
one of my buses, I had three different buses, all different years, and three or four different buses, and I, some of them have that and some of them don't. It's kind of weird. It's one of those things that I really don't know anything about. Maybe somebody could comment on that. We'd love to hear it. Yeah, he had an old master cylinder sitting in there and some old spark plugs. Yeah, it's kind of... And a belt. Usually a, a rag in a, in a can of oil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but back in the old days, we had the cans of oil, you know, where you shoved the oh, spout yeah. in there, you know. I remember those. You remember those. Okay. My, my grandfather had some of those laying around the house. <laughs> yeah, we had those kind with the, you know, the can of oil in there. But yeah, man, this is the part. What, what, do you think, what are you going to do with this, you think, the top of here? Um, for now, I'll probably just patch it up a little bit. Yeah. Just clean just it up. Just something to keep the air from coming in. Yeah. Just to keep the I exhaust and stuff from coming up for now. I don't think they make this piece. Uh, I don't know. I think they may, they may in, uh, I, on my, on my, uh, uh, my camper, I got one of these and it was, uh, uh, I, I got a used one and I just overlaid it. Oh, really? But I put yeah. another one on the top of it. Yeah, that might be I mean, a good I idea. Pull, I cut it and then what I did is I had a little, a half inch all the way around it and I just laid the one on top of the other one and welded it in. It looked good, but you wouldn't even know it's on there. And now that I tell you, if you looked at my camera, if I showed you, you wouldn't even know it was like that. But that's what I did on mine. But you could just patch it. Like yeah. I said, that, you know, you know it's rusted out. You know it's going to have to get replaced at some point. But the whole idea is, you know, not do too much because to keep it looking like this. Yeah, keep the patina, yeah. keep it rusty. So what about the corners? What are you, you going to do with those? I've got the replacement ones. I yeah. picked them up from Wolfsburg West. Oh, you and, got the good uh, ones then. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So eventually we'll we'll probably clean this up and put the new ones on there. So um, one of the things I want to tell the other guys who are doing these, um, you know, you really want to get the ones from Wolfsburg West. Stay away from the ones from uh, uh, Clocker Home or something. Man, they just, it's like a, you might as well make it yourself if you're going to do that. I mean, they're really, really bad fitting. Really? Yeah. You, you ever seen the ones from Clocker Home, the black ones? I've never, I mean, this they is the first time fit. I've ever done this. So I've... They, they're, I mean, they're just like, it's just like a, it, it, it's kind of the shape it needs to be, but it's like, there's no well point or anything. Right. So Wolf, Wolfsburg's right. seems like they carry high quality stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're right, right by us. Are they? California, yeah. Oh, nice. So. Yeah, I want to come out there and visit. Yeah, you have to come out and check it out. Yeah. Yeah, you have to come out and see. And then uh, we'll bring them over to the house and Absolutely. check out the YouTube. The bus is working for Isla on YouTube. He's been watching my channel for a long time, even before <clears throat> he was doing this bus. So uh, I always want to support the guys who are doing the... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Doing stuff that watch mine and, and, and are trying to do something. It's just like, this is pretty amazing. I love this rust. Well, I'm trying to think of, uh, oh, so we covered the gear ratios. Um, we did cover the roof issue. Uh, any, anybody has any ideas, um, go to CT's channel or comment below. And, uh, you know, I, I think this thing staying the way it is, is, is the most important thing. And then when you do get these dog legs on, I think you ought to patina those and make them look yeah, them. yeah. I want them to match. Try to match the patinas as best as possible. So, where you paint one color and then you paint the other color over it, and then and then take paint uh, mineral spirits, paint thinner. In California, it's not the same. California's mineral spirits is like acetone, and you want with the original old mineral spirits we used to have many years ago. You wipe that on, and you just keep rubbing it until the paint bleeds through to the other color, and then you could. Put clear coat and then save some rust chips and throw them on there and then let it set outside for a little while and they'll rust out. Or you can even use metal shavings, you know, like regular metal shavings and throw that into the clear. Yeah. And uh, and then leave it outside here in Florida. Shoot, you shoot rust really quickly. <laughs> yeah. Like it is really hot overnight. here. Overnight. Yeah. Yeah, it is really hot. Yeah, I think the dog is, yeah, here's this the one. It really works hard. This is hard work right here in this heat. Yeah, this is amazing. All right. Oh, wow, he's got, huh, that was a good idea. Oh, yeah, putting the lights yeah, up there. Yeah, look at that drop light. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> it definitely helps. The lighting definitely helps. Yeah, that's, have, you, have you tried taking off the steering wheel yet? 
Yeah, we tried uh, a couple weeks ago. Ended up cracking. Yeah. Um, and uh, and then we, we didn't have the right puller. I'm trying to think of how we do it. Oh, God, I've done do you it have so the right times. puller for it? No. I, you know what? I, I think I use. Uh, I looked on the Samba. I'm trying to remember. I I done it so many times and I can't remember. I think I used a a gear puller and put it around the bottom. Yeah. And then it has the big nut that goes. The, the the screw that goes through yeah and so it's it clamps on and then i pull it with that um sometimes i've just pulled on them really hard and got them off but usually a lot of times you'll end up cracking the bottom yeah. there's a video somebody made on doing this and i and uh it was really helpful so if you could search youtube on that there is a guy that shows how to get off it without cracking it yeah i'll have to check it i think it already had a crack it just made it a little bit bigger yeah, and the but, steering wheel is pretty good shape. That's not bad. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, because this thing was like preserved. I mean, you know, it's it, it's it's really in bad shape. I mean, looks like the doors. This thing's really rough. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah, yeah that's, that's bad. forty forty years, <laughs> over forty years of just sitting out in the weather. And we're talking in Florida and Georgia. You know, we don't know where exactly. Was it Florida on the on the the guy the what's his, what's it called the uh, the last owners on the the painter uh, the painter he was in Georgia oh he's in Georgia yeah I've got the tag but Georgia's the original, pretty bad too. the original tag is on the on the rear right there and it's last registered oh, in 1980 really? yeah. yeah Georgia so his name was Jim Bush yeah you guys see this let's look at it. you guys that haven't seen this I mean you can see it right here the, in this uh, the, you know this part here where yeah, they had the logo. See you can see a little, little bit, but mm -hmm. let's look at the other side. You can see it a lot better. It's like one side of this bus was leaning. I don't know. It had more sun than the other. It, you know, it'd be really interesting to see where it was sitting. Yeah. And how it was sitting there. You know, to see how it got the patina it got. You know, so it's a story behind it. It's got to be probably amazing. sat inside of somebody's house for forty years. Yeah. And look at that. It, see, and it said it was a painting contractor and wallpaper. So, yeah, it's just, it's just a neat one. It's just, you don't find stuff like this that often. You know, that's this, uh, that's this, even though it's in terribly bad shape, I mean, it's just something that's, that just got that way and just stayed that way. And there's just something with. cool about it. Yeah, there's something cool about it. Yeah. That. Exactly. Well, let's, uh, we're going to, maybe we can pause right now and then we'll, we're going to go jump into taking off that spring plate. Uh, not hard to do, um, but well, on this bus, we might find it very challenging to get that spring plate off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't get anything on this. You know, it's like you need a you need a torch. You need a, everything uh, is rusted. Yeah, the, one of the tricks is to get everything hot. You know, one of those. Do you have one of those Harbor Freight Tools uh, torches? Those yeah, the ones? I have yeah, one okay. of the. Uh... Yeah, they really help. Yeah, to get some of the stuff loose, and uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be an interesting. Uh, project but I really want to see this thing rolling when it's done and again like you said with you guys who aren't subscribed to the CT channel CT garage you want to check them out and uh, come on over here and, and, and watch some of the stuff and you'll get to see this thing run I, I think I'm pretty confident that he's gonna get this thing done he's he's moving a long ways on it pretty quickly so we'll pause right now and then Thanks, man. Check it out. Then. Yeah. I'll tell, uh, make sure everybody goes over and checks out Mike F. channel. Yeah, I'll yeah. Sit, oh, yeah. I'll put links uh, down below. You guys can go check yeah. out his channel. He's got some really cool projects that he's worked on and uh, very helpful information. So check it out. All right. All right, guys. We're going to try to get this spring plate off of here. Mike F.'s going to give me a hand. I was thinking we... What do you guys think? Do, we, do you guys think we should try it without oiling it? Or, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of scary, but uh, let's do it. <laughs> what do you think? Let's try it. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's just put a wrench on it and see if it goes. If it feels like it's not going to go, then it's probably maybe we'll not use a go. torch. I mean, this thing's, yeah, let's see. It'll be fun. Let's see what happens. Well, let's get you guys over here and take a look. We're going to put some tension under here. But it just—it shouldn't have that much. So there's, there's going to be a little bit of tension on that, but not much. How's that? 
little bit. Yeah, just get it underneath there. That, I can put a little tiny bit on it because, yeah, there's no weight. Yeah, there you go. There's no weight in this thing, so. Gotcha. That's kind of want this thing. I good? Yeah. But I'll let you do the honors. Let's see what we got. If you need a different leverage on there. If, it's, if it feels like it's going to. Oh, is it, did it move? Yeah. Wow. Man, what about the next one? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, man, sometimes you don't need to oil. Sometimes you don't even need a torch. That works pretty good. All right. Film class. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take these things off. Let's see what's under here. So it's yeah. not going to just fly off, is it? Well, it'll have some tension, but not much. Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah, I've never done oh, this before. Right. He was a little scared because he didn't do this, never done it. Yeah, nothing like just jumping in and going for it. Boy, those so are see. rusty. Yeah, those are. Yeah, let's look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there, is there, look at those. <laughs> yeah, they're still good bolts, though. German. Clean, clean them up? That's it. Clean them up, put them back. It shouldn't be that much. It should be just like a little bit of tension. We could take a little screwdriver now. Yeah, he's going to grab a screwdriver so we can pull this thing off. It's a little bit crusty on there. Oh. Hey, he's got all this high tech stuff. He's got a flashlight here on <laughs> a magnet. Harbor awesome, Freight, 20 dude. bucks. Well, where else would you go? Oh, dude, that's Dang. awesome. So that's all there is to it. Now, you got right here, just so you guys who are working on your buses, oh, yeah, there's this. A little bit of dirt and rust, and look at how clean that seal is. Up the in seal's there. okay. You can use it again. That's crazy. You're fine. Yeah, that one's in good shape. It's I'm probably not... real German rubber. I mean, wow. Is it crusty? Is it hard as a rock? It still feels kind of pliable. Love it, man. We got some thunder going on. Some rain. Man, oh yeah, Florida. So there's just so you guys know, it, it's CT and everybody else. These things have uh, two different. Uh, the, the splines here are are in a different coarseness than the inter ones on the other end. So you got here. This is your torsion bar, and this is your this is your uh, spring plate. Okay, the torsion bar in the middle. On this side of the torsion bar, there's different teeth. The teeth are clocked different than on the inside. And when you take these bars out, you need to always remember the outside needs to be still the outside and the right and the left. Because if you if you Put them in like if you put this one on the wrong side a lot of times they'll break oh wow because the torsion's been working one way all this time then all of a sudden now you flip it over it works the other way it's just like you know when you bend a piece of aluminum back and forth it'll snap so those are important things to know and then you've got the difference in spline so you can do an adjustment on your torsions to make it so if your bus is leaning like uh from like like this if your bus is leaning from right to left you can make you can tighten one side up and how you do that is go ahead and loosen up the jack a little bit okay. let's just see if we can pop this thing off it shouldn't be that much tension you should be almost be able to wish we had a better bigger screwdriver yeah i get a bigger one let's always have a bigger screwdriver he's gonna go check on that um but you this should just pop out and then come down a little bit there's going to be a little bit of tension there, and uh, and then we're just going to pop this thing out, let it drop down. How's that? Yeah, perfect. Dude, these are these are my favorite right here. This is the E tool, so should just give it a little looser. It should almost be able to just come off of here with no. On a bus, this is, they don't usually have that much. The bugs have a little more tension on them than the buses because the bus is a little stiffer, the spring is. I haven't had one of these off in a while. Okay, the same way you do this when you want to lower it. So you slide this off. If you were going to lower this, you just take this off and then twist it up one notch and put it back in. And uh, one of the, when you twist it off one notch and put it back in, uh, it, then you need to check like the distance between here and the, where the spring plate is and make sure it's even on both sides. If it's not even on both sides, then you need to take the whole torsion bar out and move it one notch up and then start playing around until it until they're both even. Oh wow. Yeah, so if you were to lower it, that's the way you usually do it. It's good to know. So that's basically just pop right off. 
right now. That's it. It's already loose. I can just pull this spring plate right out. Get it right off. That's it. It's ready to go. And there's a bushing on the other side. And there's a bushing on the other side. And when these get really loose, um, I don't know if the aftermarket ones are any better than the originals. So how does that feel? Go. I mean, does that feel like it's reusable? I think so. Oh yeah, wow. it feels soft. Look at that, it's crazy. It's nice and soft, look how long it's been in there. It's still soft, the yeah. rubber on this is still soft. It's, it's not crusty, you know. It's um, probably been in there since 1962. Yeah, wow. for sure. I mean, it's probably never, that thing's probably never been off. So is that plate, can that plate be bent back or do I need to get a new one? Mm, might be better to get a new one. Or get it oh, not new, but a used one. one. Yeah. You know, a lot of guys lower them, and they and they'll take the originals off, and the new ones they kind of have a notched setup in them. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it's in the top or bottom because I don't really lower much stuff. Um, I think it's in the top actually. It's notched, and then uh, they do this straight axle thing. Um, but the reason I don't like to do that is because when you do straight axle and you do the lowering like that, I don't know if you know this. <laughs> There's another lightning strike right across the street, man. That oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> This is daily in Florida, man. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're going to get the heavy rain now. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. And then, so, so, but, uh, I, I, you know, you maybe you could, but, you know, it might, might be better just to find one that yeah, guys Yeah, I think, I think this off. is actually spring steel. Uh, I think it is, and once you heat it up and bend it, you know, it's going to lose some of its strength. Yeah. So, but you'll find somebody who's lowered it. You can find one of these things pretty cheap, I'm sure. So, I'd just buy another one. Buy a used one, not a new. Um, yep. Yeah. Everything, original parts are always better. You know, the reproduction stuff is not quite the same quality as the original. the street again. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Yeah. It struck right there. I felt it. <laughs> the hair on my neck is all it's standing up. Dude, man, that was amazing. <laughs> so the cool lightning strike again. That's why we're kind of underneath the garage. We don't want to get uh, <clears throat> yeah. get struck by lightning. Yeah, hopefully that, yeah. We should probably move this but, jack uh, out of the way. It's like a that's lightning That's basically garage. how it works. I don't know what else you really want to show on that. Um, so on the other side, I don't need to take the other side off, right? Yeah. The other side's no, straight. no. There's no reason to. to it should be good. Yeah, I would say just leave that. Um, just this one because it's dead. Okay. Oh, oh, another one. That was another one, dude. That was that sucker hit the ground straight over there. Yeah, it did. Uh, <laughs> holy crap! I saw the the flash almost at the same time we heard the noise. It's that time of year. Yeah, dude, it's awesome. Yeah. All right. Pretty wild. So yeah. Anyway, uh, but that's the that's how kind of how that works. That's it. So when I go to put the new one back on, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get another one. Mm -hmm. I can just put it right back yeah. on. There's no special. Well, it you, it should just be to where you know how it was. How, how much tension there was on it? Almost nothing. Yeah. So it should the spine should be matched up about the same place as it was, so that it's almost nothing. If if you have to kind of jack it up to put it in. Yeah. Then you've got it on the wrong notch. Okay. Okay. And if you've got it to where you've got a gap here when you put it in, a pretty good sized gap, then you know you're one notch off. Okay. So it's going to be, it's going to clock right in the same position. Gotcha. As it came off. All right. You going to look at the doors? Okay. Well, we were going to talk about the bottoms of these doors here. Um, some of you guys probably have the same issue on your bus. And uh, you can buy this piece right here from Classic Fab, uh, the green metal guy. You guys who don't know who they are, uh, Classic Fab has this piece, and it's it's like a little weld-in section where you have to butt weld it in, or you can you can actually overlap it if you want. Either way, but you you weld in this section here and weld it in right here, and uh, so that your little guide pin will line up once you put in your. You're actually going to put this in and new floors in this thing. I hope I'm sure. Yeah, I actually have the floors. Yeah, the new floors for mm -hmm. it. So. Let's look at the other side. It's got the same issue that this one's really bent. And then you've got the the floor here where you're, you know, where you're gonna have your new rocker and then the the pin, the guide pin for the bottom of here, which is 
still there. Yeah, it is. The dead pin. It's right underneath. Yep. When you put this up and down, you can kind of see it moving. Do you see it? Yep. There you go. The guide pin goes through. That there's a little chamber in there that's completely rusted out right now. So once you replace that piece, it'll actually um, that'll line up with the with the other piece. Because I know you're going to get to that pretty soon. Yeah. And that's something. If you don't know that, it might be kind of weird to know you have to replace this this piece. Right. The inner, the inner rocker, or inner, what is that? Door. Frame. I don't know. Something. I can't remember the name <laughs> of it. But the, anyway, yeah. the, the inner door panel. But, uh, so anyway, there's a couple more things that we were, I wanted to point out to you when I was out here. And uh, anyway, uh, we're yeah. going to wrap things up now. And, and we just wanted to, you know, share with you guys that we met up and, and, mm -hmm. uh, we're really, you know, really excited about this project. I think a lot of you guys are. Even the guys are watching my channel right now. I know that you guys are interested in this project, and uh, wanted to kind of see if we could help out. Yeah, I appreciate you, know, you guys stopping by. And, and the guy's doing a good job. He's doing he's got a great channel, you guys. So be sure to watch, share, like, subscribe, comment. We like to see all of those things in our videos. <laughs> Lots of comments, right? Yes. Comment. Comment, comment. like, unlike, I don't care. <laughs> dislike, I love it. He goes, I'll take a dislike. Huh? I'll take a dislike even. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, just but engage. Dislike, just like, just engage. Just let us know what you think. We like to hear good or bad. And, yep. uh, anything else you want to say here? Yeah, I appreciate you stopping by. And uh, I want, you know, if you guys go check out Mike Guest's channel. And he's got a lot to share and a lot of knowledge. So check out his channel. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. All right. And we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you.